yeah, you want to come over? Hey, Illy. Illy. Come. Come on, boy. Oh, that's why it's pointing down. Sit. Eastu. Yeah, Eastu. <laughs> Eastu, if you speak Finnish. This has to be the thumbnail. Hello, insiders. It is Friday. First of all, we're shooting on Friday, so that's a great thing. Second of all, we have a very special guest. We have James, who has been working on permissions in Creator Studio. What's up, Insider Nation? Yeah! Yeah, yeah! So, James... <laughs> this is how Tom starts all team meetings. That's right. Way. This is every time. Can you tell it's Friday? Can you just give us a little intro as to what you do at YouTube, and then we're going to dive into the permission stuff. Yeah, so I'm on the Creator Tools team. Uh, Work on a lot of different things in addition to permissions, the video editor, the video list, um, captions. Yeah, a lot of our uh, pro features, more advanced stuff for the creators that need to get maximum kind of power out of the tool set. That's right. Now, permissions, tell us about what you've heard from customers around uh, permissions in the past, what they, they like, they don't like, um, just so we can level set what the problem area is. Totally. So we know from uh, creators that as they get bigger, mm -hmm. they want to have other people on their team. I think we see this with Creator Insider. Mm -hmm. We have uh, a lot of different people that uh, have different things to do on the channel. And if you're uh, you know, the lead creator or channel owner, you don't necessarily want everybody to be able to do everything. You want to be able to have some control over who does what, and that's what we're trying to enable. Yeah, so even for Creator Insider, we had uh, people get access to the channel at the company. And they uh, one time they were like, oh, we just need to look at some analytics or something. And then the next thing we knew, like some random video was yeah. published because they accidentally thought they were in yeah. a different account and whatever, did what they did. And then all of a sudden, all of our subscribers got this weird video. Well, how does that make yeah. you feel as like a channel owner? Like that, what's that, what's that like? It feels um, very vulnerable. Yeah. It feels very nerve wracking. And it feels like every time I give someone permission that I'm one step away from some disaster happening. Like they delete something, they write something inappropriate, mm -hmm. they upload the wrong thing. Um, yeah, it's just badness. So this is the exact feeling that we're trying to get rid of. Thank you. How will you do this? So <laughs> we're working on a new studio permissions system that will have five roles. The first is the channel owner. I think that one's straightforward. The second is a manager that can do everything that the channel owner can do except delete the channel. Then there's an editor that uh, can't invite people, can't sign uh, contracts, and can't delete videos. A little bit of a safer role. And then what I think will be really interesting to people are two read-only roles. Mm. So a viewer-only role that can see everything within the channel but can't do anything, mm -hmm. and a viewer without revenue role. So someone who can see everything except for the revenue. We'd love to hear from you. If you have a particular role or role type, leave it in the comments below um, and tell us how you want it to work. Yeah, or if you think that owner, manager, editor, read only uh, with revenue, read only no revenue. Maybe that's enough for 99% of people, I guess we'll see, we'll hear. Now, what is this now like we're talking about it? Is it in maybe in development mode? Do people have it already? Like where are we with giving them these cool new things? Yeah, so we've got uh, some very special trusted testers, some of whom were, I think, recruited from Insider Nation. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, using the product, giving us feedback. Um, we're very grateful to them. And uh, we hope that this will be in everyone's hands soon. Well, I have an idea. Yeah. You and I were in a work meeting, not on camera. We could unveil a little bit of that conversation. Anyway, so we're here we, for the people. we were talking about how this new permissioning system has been asked for for, for many, many years. And we're now in the development phase, but wait, does not work yet on the studio mobile app. That's right. So you could be in a situation where you're like, oh my God, this is so cool. I want to now give Bob read-only permission, but then 
Bob would not be able to access the studio mobile app, that's even right. read-only. Yeah, that's right. And so the debate was, well, do we roll this out and have no mobile support and get it to people early? Or do we kind of deliver the full solution because mobile is super important? This is definitely not an easy decision. Um, would welcome your, your feedback. Uh, and, you know, you You'll can, be reading the comments. I'll read the comments. Let me know what you think. I'll read I'll it. I can't it. guarantee I'll respond, but uh, we'll definitely think about it. So Cool. Well, thank you so much, James, for joining the show. And we'll have to have you back on when it's further down the road. Maybe we do a little uh, demo or something. That sounds great. Awesome. You guys keep it real.